Ever since special counsel Robert Mueller publicly spoke out about his report on Russia's interference in the 2016 election, calls to impeach President Trump have echoed out. As of Monday night, more than 55 lawmakers have called for impeachment inquiries to begin, including House Judiciary member Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who is also the chair of the Democratic caucus. He responded to Mueller's public statements, tweeting in part, the president must now be held accountable. No one is above the law. Congressman Jeffries sat down recently with my friend Torre to discuss impeachment, among many other things. And Torre joins us now via Skype to talk about that interview. Pretty news making. Torre is, of course, a TV host and podcaster. He is also a contributor to Rolling Stone, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and is an old friend and dear colleague of mine. Great to see you, friend. Nice to see you. All right, give us a little bit of context around this interview and what you got into, and then we've got a couple of uh, bites we can roll from it. Well, Congressman Jeffries is, of course, my congressman. He represents my district. I've seen him in the district a couple of times. And finally, we asked him to be on the show. And he agreed. We we're super grateful that he agreed. And we started talking about the First Step Act, which is super important to him and makes these massive criminal justice reforms. But then, of course, we slide into impeachment, which is you know something I really wanted to get into with him. And he was amazingly candid and open. He was not politician-y in this interview. And, you know, when we talked about impeachment, he's mostly ready for it. Right. He, you want to play the clip where he sort of, I'm, I'm tossing to the clip on your show, but, you know, he's he sort of says he's for it. He doesn't care what you call it, though. Yeah, let's take a listen to uh, to the first clip we have here of sort of him laying out his view on what should happen. I'm of the view, particularly given the urgency of what has just taken place with Bob Mueller speaking, that those hearings should commence immediately and that we need to present the information to the American people. What you call those hearings, that'll be a decision that ultimately will be made by both Chairman Nadler and Speaker Pelosi. And Tere, so you hear. Part of the significance here is Hakeem Jeffries is number five in Democratic leadership. So he's really high up the ladder, a very significant figure. And he's kind of stepping out of line with what Pelosi has said, but not technically, because he's not specifically calling for impeachment hearings. Talk about that. Right. He's saying, you know, you can call it what you want. Right before the clip, he says we should investigate on abuse of power, obstruction of justice and a culture of corruption at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And he said that phrase three times throughout the interview. So that is something that is on his mind, perhaps on many Democratic lawmakers' minds, those three sort of things. But he's not married to calling it impeachment. And I think he sees many ways of getting that information out um, that the president is abusing power, is obstructing justice, and has a culture of corruption. It doesn't need to be called impeachment, which is purposefully controversial and divisive and will probably send us scurrying into our Democratic and Republican camps. But if you just present the information, um, that could be more powerful if you don't use the I word, which then just cover, colors the whole proceeding. Right. You also asked him about the argument that this that moving forward with impeachment would be a bad thing for Democrats politically. Let's take a listen to a little bit of that. It will be dangerous for us to make a decision about impeachment anchored in politics? Yes. Either way, to either decide that we're not going <clears> to <throat> impeach because that may be bad politically, or that we are going to dive into impeachment because we think it'll help politically. What do you think of that? I think that's really important. I think they should make the decision based on the merits and the information and their constitutional responsibility and not politically. I think one of my and many people's biggest complaints and critiques with their modern Republican Party, especially as led by Mitch McConnell, is that they're constantly making decisions that put party ahead of country, no matter what. And we hope that the Democratic Party is not going to do the same thing, because if they do, the whole system starts to erode. And he's saying here, we have to make the decision based on the information and not how it's going to affect us politically. And I was wrapping the question in, like, 2020 is coming soon. And typical for a politician, he was kind of like, well, 2020 is still a very long way away. We can make these decisions without worrying too much about politics. At yeah, this the, stage. Debates, the debates start this month. So I don't know about <laughs> 2020 being that long away. But did, I mean, did you get a sense from him? Like, 
I know you said he didn't feel like he was being politician-y, but he is like walking a very narrow line here of let's start proceedings. Let's we don't have to call him impeachment proceedings, but let's just like see what happens here. Um, did you get a sense from him about what he thought might happen? Did you is this like a projection of what Democrats are actually going to do? I did not ask him that far down a long line. Like, I wanted to stay in, like, the now and how do you feel about things now? Because, you know, when you start talking about projections, then you can say whatever you want. I mean, I think he feels very strongly that the president has obstructed justice, that there is a culture of corruption, uh, that there has been abuse of power. And I think he, you know, but he also noted, again, that he has not seen the unredacted Mueller report. Um, and no lawmaker has seen the unredacted Mueller report, which is crazy. Um, he said you can go see it in a classified setting, but that means you can't talk about it, which, of course, is what they want. So he still doesn't have access to all the information, but he had enough from the Mueller report to say, I'm pretty certain there's obstruction of justice here. Well, and we have one more bite that does that speaks to that, him talking about his view of what the responsibility of Congress is. Let's take a listen to that. At the end of the day, we're charged with the solemn constitutional responsibility of trying to figure out, did this president commit high crimes or misdemeanors? The Mueller investigation appears to have presented at least 11 different instances of serious obstruction of justice that could lead to that conclusion. It's 11 instances that could lead to that conclusion, not necessarily, but potentially. Well, I mean, you know, I think he's being politician-y in that he's not going to say, you know, this is definitely the case, but I think he's Because if he says that, then you have to do it, you have basically have to move forward with impeachment if you admit that these really are high crimes and misdemeanors, right? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, you know, one of his big things is we have to get all the information before we can decide what to do, right? So he's not going to paint himself into a corner and say, like, we have to do this. But, you know, I think that he's quite, pretty clear on this is a route that we probably should take. Um, how do people download the podcast, Trey? It's up now, right? It's up now. You can go to anywhere, find podcasts or stream, then you'll find Torrey Show uh, with Hakeem Jeffries. And uh, please check it out. I am a listener. It's always interesting. You get an incredible guest. And you, you. you always have a way as an interview of getting people out of their talking points. So um, definitely want to hear this part on impeachment and everything else that you get into with Congressman Jeffries, who is very much a politician on his way up the ladder there. Terry, great to see you, friend. Nice to see you. Thank you. Coming up, Joe Biden's climate plan has him in a little bit of hot water, but not maybe for the reasons that you would think. Senate Republicans are warning President Trump not to place tariffs on Mexico or else. And Texas's Secretary of State is accused of purging voter rolls. Team Rising is here to talk about all these things and more when Rising continues.